Another really cool feature of CSS3 is uh, CSS3's new uh, multiple background feature. Uh, prior to CSS3, you were you could only specify one background image for an element. So that means that if I wanted to uh, set a background image for my body, uh, I'd be limited to one image. So a lot of times, if you want to create something really intricate, you have to put it all in one big image and uh, if you had an image that was supposed to be at the top and you also wanted something at the bottom that was difficult to negotiate and it's not that you couldn't do it but you just couldn't do it as straightforward and elegantly so to say uh, as you can now with CSS3 so and we're gonna do just that in in this video uh, just kinda start with uh, what it's gonna take to get what I got going on my page. So, but before we even dive into that, it uh, something worth reading is the CS, CSS backgrounds and borders module three, and you go right here to the uh, web3.org forward slash tr forward slash CSS three background, and here the W three C outlines the uh, multiple background specification in gory, gory detail. Now, I, I got to tell you, I read through this, so um, the amount of flexibility the new ba uh, multiple backgrounds allows you is is very incredible, and uh, I can't wait to see all the different stuff that's going to come out of it. I, I basically, in in my implementation, I uh, just touched the surface of a lot of these, but uh, of of this topic. But it is worth your while to go through um, this information. If nothing else, it's not like you try to memorize what you're reading over here, but as you're reading it and you read some properties and attributes that you're allowed to do and, and the, what you can do with it, it should kind of inspire you and give you ideas of um, all the different things you could do. And, you know, bookmark it, keep in mind where it's at because when you bump into a project where you're trying to come up with a cool background effect, um, just know, hey, I could, you know, do this to the image. Well, let me go back to the spec and actually see. Um, how I could do it specifically. So that's kind of how I operate. Well, so here's what I made prior to shooting this video is, uh, let me go to my files. I created a couple of different uh, SVG images specifically and I put them all in the root directory of my um, my website, but actually, since there are going to, since there's a couple of files, I put them in uh, their own subfolder called backgrounds. The first thing that I'm going to need is uh, an image for the very top, and I created this image that's going to sit at the very top of my background. And uh, as you could see, it's going to has little invaders coming down, coming to get you. Yeah, they're pretty intimidating. I, I'm frightened. Uh, afterwards they kind of as you go the idea is that that image will sit at the top of my page over here as you start scrolling down the middle where the content is I don't want to put too much of other little characters over there because I don't want it to distract from the text but down at the bottom of my page I want another little scene happening and down there I put I got my uh, invaders bottom background and I put all these little guys over here and conceptually you could kinda see how uh, in the middle over here a line in the middle of this document is gonna be that um, that article element that's red so you won't be able to see behind it but you'll see these guys starting to fall from back there and there'll be some stuff and left and right uh, and not only am I gonna have this but I also have the barriers now these are the barriers that are protecting our uh, civilized society from uh, these crazed space invaders who are coming to get us. So, uh, but you know, our defenses are getting weak. But fortunately, uh, th <laughs> this image only has three of them. But what I'm going to set it to do is to actually, uh, actually, if you look at this image over here, what I'm going to set it to do is repeat on the x-axis. That's why when you look at this document, it has this space to the left. This space is actually the same distance as this space. So when I repeat it, 
this whole thing is going to start over here and it's going to look like these things are perfectly spaced um, in between. So uh, with that said, let's dig in and start applying these, uh, like set these backgrounds to, um, to our page.